demons are subject to us. Coronavirus, they are subject to us. Sickness and disease, they are subject to us. Brothers and sisters, the prophetic word for us today is these things that, that is threatening our society, they are subject to us. If you believe it, shout aloud, amen. amen. Oh, I say shout aloud, amen. amen. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we live in an interesting time. If you just look around the news that is out there in our society is so bad. Bad news that if you are not careful the news in our society right now can put you in a state of fear. Yes. That even the elect can easily be deceived by what is going on out there. So don't be deceived and don't allow the bad news in our society threaten the fabric of your being. Know in your heart that you are of a different kingdom. You are of the kingdom of God. Although you live in this earth, Although you are in this planet, but you are not of this planet. Come on. You are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Yeah. And if you understand that you are a citizen of the kingdom of God, therefore, the rules and regulation or the legality of this earthly realm, they are subject to you. Amen. Why? Because you are Somebody say amen. amen. Say, I am, I am of the kingdom. Say it one more time. Say, I am of the kingdom. I am, of the kingdom. I am an ambassador. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, it's interesting because if coronavirus can bring the world to a standstill the way it is now, what about when the rapture will take place? <laughs> if, 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 if. Glory! If virus, a demonic virus, that you cannot see with your eyes, maybe with the help of a microscope or something, some medical stuff, if that little thing can bring the world to a standstill, what about when the great tribulation takes place? And this should be a reminder to us that we must be ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I say we must be what? Ready. Look at your neighbor and say, are you ready? Are you ready, are you ready for the Lord is coming soon? Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Because Jesus is coming back again. He's coming back again. Are you ready? Are you ready? He made us to understand in this world in Matthew chapter 24. He said, watch Therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. He said, watch, therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. Jesus is coming back again. I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming back again. The Savior of mankind is coming back again. I said, he is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is your heart ready? 
Are you, are you born again? Have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Because a day will come that Jesus will show up and the whole world will stand still. Looking at coronavirus, some people think, oh, this is a big deal. But when Jesus comes, it's far more greater, exceeds this. Can you just imagine when we are caught up with him? When we are no longer here, can you imagine the chaos that this earth will go through? If I were you, I don't want to be here. I want to be with my Savior. Amen. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? I want us to spend some time to really meditate on these words. Are you ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Are you ready? Are you ready? And real quick, I would like to take us to the book of First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter 5, reading from verse 4. Right there, the word of God made it clear that we should be what? Very watchful of the things going on today so that we are not deceived by it. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. So that we are not what? Deceived by what is going on in our society today. It says, wash and be what? Sober. But there are two key items that I want to bring out from where we just read. It says, God did not appoint us to wrath. God did not appoint us to wrath. According to verse 9, it says, God did not what? Appoint us to wrath. For God did not appoint us to what? Yeah. Say that with me. God did not appoint us to wrath. So, here is a question for you. Did God to coronavirus? No. Oh, say it loud and clear. No. He said, as a man thinketh, so is he. Yeah, Decree and declare, let the demons hear you. Did God appoint you to coronavirus? No. Somebody shout, no. no. God did not appoint you to coronavirus. God did not appoint you to sickness and disease. I say shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So we must be what? Sober. We must be what? Vigilant. We must be what? Watchful. Because the word of God made us to understand. It says we should be what? Sober and vigilant. For our adversary, the devil, is like what? A roaring lion looking for whom he will what? Devour. It says what? The devil, the adversary, is going about. Let's quickly go to that verse. I want us to read it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We give you all the praise. First Peter 5, verse 8. First Peter 5, 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant, be what? Sober, be what? Vigilant. Why? Why should we be what? Sober and why should we be, should we be what? Vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like what? Roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Seeking whom he may devour. Do you know right now, we, we got to be proactive. Somebody say amen. amen. We got to be proactive. We got to get ourselves ready. You got to have some emergency pre pre preparedness uh, in case it things shut down, things like that. We got to use wisdom and get ourselves ready. Somebody say amen. amen. But don't go cuckoo getting ready. If people can get ready for Jesus,
Jesus the way they are doing right now, you know? <laughs> Somebody say amen. The way they are washing their hands, washing everything. Please, please abide by all those precautions. But what I'm just saying, if we can put this kind of focus into kingdom stuff, my goodness, you will be an overcomer. You will be triumphant. The devil will not come close to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. He says, be sober and be what? Vigilant because we have an adversary who doesn't like us. We have an enemy who wants you to be quarantined somewhere. We want an enemy that wants to suffocate you. Yes, the, 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 when you talk about the coronavirus, uh, the coronavirus work with the spirit of Python, the spirit of suffocation. Yes. It suffocates you. You feel like you are drowning. It, it slowly takes the life out of you. That devil is a liar. Yes. That serpent, that dragon, they are under your feet. Yes. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Mighty God. It says for the adversary, the devil walks about like a rolling lion seeking who he may devour. But it did not end there. Here is the assurance. In verse 9, it says, resist him. Steadfast in faith. Knowing that the same suffering are experienced by our brotherhood in the world. It says, resist him. Somebody say amen. amen. Resist him. Resist him. Because right now people are under fear. What the enemy has just done, what, what the enemy has just deployed, what the adversary has just deployed is fear. A lot of people are under fear and panic. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, I beg you, don't give in to fear or panic. Because if you give in to fear or panic, that spirit will attack you. Can I say that again? Yeah. You might be righteous, you might be holy, you might be going to church loving the Lord, but if you ever give in to fear and panic, that demon will attack you. Yes. I, I, I'm very direct to us today. Please, yeah. don't give in to what? Fear and panic and anxiety. Don't give in to it. Let, let me quickly show you something in the Bible. My Bible says that Job was what? An upright man. Job was what? An upright man. Why was Job attacked? When God bragged about Job, that Job was an upright man. Job was an upright man, but God bragged about Job and Satan told God that you have placed an edge around Job. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, so Satan negotiating him. But what created the entrance for the devil to attack Job was not God. Yes, God gave the devil the permission. God said, okay, you can do this, you can do that. But the entrance was created by Job himself. Fear. He was always fearful of things, afraid. What are you fearful of? What are you afraid of? Because my Bible says that he that break the edge, the sap Jesus 
and dwell in a place of communion with God, in a place of speaking in tongues, in a place of, 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 of fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't give in to fear because the word of God made us to understand in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Mighty God, mighty God. Isaiah 41 10. Thank you so much. It's on the screen. It says, fear not. Look at your neighbor and say, fear not. Fear not. God says, Fear not. 
Do you know how the devil wants you to fear? Sometimes, some of you like this season, when this demon is going up, all of a sudden, you start feeling a little sore throat. Yeah. Now you are worried. Oh, do I have coronavirus? Do I have coronavirus? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, maybe your temperature went up. Maybe your temperature went up. Somebody say amen. Maybe your, maybe your temperature went up. You begin to panic. Oh, now. Nah. Oh, what's going on? Do I have coronavirus now? Somebody said the devil is a liar. You might have a little sore throat. Or you might have a little high temperature or whatever kind of uh, seasonal uh, stuff you are going through. Those are the way the enemy is trying to introduce fear to you. And all of a sudden you've given in as a result of fear. Now comes the demon. But I'm here to tell you, fear not. Even if your body is weak or going through stuff, know that God says that he will strengthen you because he is your God. And God did not stop there. God went ahead and says, guess what? I will be your helper. In the midst of when you feel helpless, God says, I will be your helper. You don't need a stimulus package from the federal government. God will give you his own stimulus package. God will give you his own stimulus package. He says, I will be your helper. The God of Jerusalem that rise in the cloud to help you. The God of Jerusalem that rise in the cloud. Help is coming to you. Help is coming to you. Do I have believers in this place? I prophesy over you. You are not going down.
in the book of Luke, chapter 17. I mean, chapter 10, Luke 10, 17. The Lord made us to understand that the 70 returned to Jesus. This 70 that returned to Jesus, they have already received power and authority from God. Because according to Luke chapter 9, verse 1, Luke 9, 1 made us to understand that God gave his disciples, that means Jesus, gave his disciples authority and power. In another word, he gave them power and authority over what? Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, I don't think you are reading it right. He gave you what? Is that what he said? A few demons. Is that what he said? He says what? All demons. Brothers and sisters, in the beginning of this message, I established with you that coronavirus is a demon. Somebody say amen. I also established that it was a pro it was a prophetic word by our father that this will happen by demons. Somebody say amen. And I've also established, based on the word of God, uh, our father Some of you came here sick. You are living here. 
Some of you in the phone line, you are receiving your healing right now. You are receiving your healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Demons, they are subject to us. In your name. And my Bible says, as I bring this to a close, my Bible made it clear. It said, for God, for God, for God has highly exalted him. For God, Magasoko, brother, Shikarati, Masika, Lakote, Philippians 2, I believe that's 9. He said, for God, Jesus! 